Hi, Mike from Model Makers Inc. in Rockaway, New Jersey. Today we're going to talk about solvent welding PVC. And uh, PVC comes in uh, several different forms, comes in clear. Uh, a lot of people would recognize it as PVC plumbing and pipe, all different diameters, all PVC used for signage. Uh, this is a product called Sintra or Celtec. It's got a, uh, an expanded foam core in a smooth surface, makes it very lightweight, used for outdoor signage. We've got sheet PVC for industrial use here. This is very hard. Uh, we machine it, we cut stuff out of it. Same material as the sheet PVC comes in rod form. You have a larger rod. And um, the same foam PVC also comes in different thicknesses. You can see quarter inch, three quarter inch, eighth inch here, many colors of the foam PVC. This is clear PVC film used for thermoforming. You can see how flexible that is. Comes in these rolls. Here's a roll of the PVC film. And what we glue it with is primarily two products. This is VC1 or Easy Fix 309. Uh, it's water thin. Uh, I'll squirt a little bit of this out here. You can see it come out of the glue applicator. It's very, very thin, evaporates immediately. And your thicker version, they both smell the same. They're both really stinky. This stuff is a little bit gummier. It's better for filling larger, covering larger areas. We can spread a little bit of that on there. You can see the viscosity is a little bit greater than the uh, VC1. You'll want to use this stuff in a larger space, well-ventilated area. And if you are unfortunately using it in a small space, make sure you've got a window open or a fan running because uh, the stuff is fairly toxic. So be careful. Don't really get it on your skin like I just did. And uh, don't breathe the vapors. So with... Um, Thinner pieces, you can glue them surface to surface, uh, spread a little bit of the glue in between, smack them together, give it a press. These were glued yesterday. You can see that's a really good bond right there. Some of the foam PVC, the Sintra Celtec brands, come with a protective film. You can see I'm removing that film. Uh, you certainly cannot glue to the side that has film on it. Uh, so remove the film if you're gluing. You can either glue surface to surface or edge to surface. We're going to do this with the VC1 in a glue applicator. This is just a squeeze bottle with a needle on it. And we just run the needle along the edge here, and you can see the glue come out. Uh, it bites relatively quickly. I'm going to run a little bit of glue down the other side as well, just to make sure that we get a good bond. The thin glue will actually draw underneath the joint via capillary action. If we had a clear piece of film here, we could demo that. Uh, let's see, a clear piece of film. I'm going um, to show how this piece of clear PVC that was glued onto a piece of Sintra, we'll put the glue here and just run it along the edge. You can see how the glue sucks underneath even though I didn't put it in between, the glue actually draws itself in via capillary action. So when we use the VC1, most of the time, we don't put the uh, solvent between the joint. We just put it on the edge of the joint, similar to what I'll demo here. This is the hard, what they call industrial PVC. This is the same material in eighth inch. Um, same thing, we'll just run the glue along the edge And I'm going to turn this around. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but you can see the glue actually came through the back side, even though I only applied it to one side. The capillary action pulled the glue right through into the back. That tells me that we got a good joint all the way across. Um, these applicator bottles are available online. We order these uh, by the dozen, but uh, you can get them one or two at a time. It's called the Craftique's Plasticator. It comes with a squeeze bottle and one applicator needle. You can also buy the extra needles. They come in different diameters. 
when you're using the thicker glue, this material will not draw underneath via capillary action. Uh, so what you have to do is if you wanted to bond two pieces together, and we don't call this gluing, we call it solvent bonding or solvent welding, uh, because it's not actually glue, you're dissolving the material uh, via chemical solvent. So we've just spread some of the more viscous material on there, and we're just going to set that down and give it a press. You can see how the material squeezes out a little bit. In this particular in instance, this will probably take 12 to 24 hours to really give you a full bond. So we would just let that sit there if we were making a joint like that. That would have to just be left alone. Uh, same with if you were doing you know, something like this as an end, as end glue. Um, that would have to remain there for a period of time to get full bond. If you're gluing dimensional letters, say you were making a sign, we cut these letters out of black Sintra, that's this material here, on our CNC machine, those would go on with the thinner VC1 in the applicator bottle. And for the G, I'm just going to go around the inside. Capillary action is going to draw underneath that whole letter. And stick it right down. And uh, say we want an arrow that says to go that way. And you can see I only applied the glue to one side, but you can see how the solvent drew all the way underneath that arrow right up to the other side. So you have a few minutes to actually move and adjust these if they're not exactly where you like them. Uh, but within a short period of time, those will be securely fixed to that piece of material. So that's our demo of solvent bonding PVC using VC1, water thin, and the thicker PVC cement available at your local hardware store.